Hello and welcome to more Sonic Heroes! We're exactly where we left off with Team Dark in the Grand Metropolis! So let's get right to it and see what action there is to find. We got bubbles with ring! Oh man, looks like these floors are actually pushing me forward. They're kind of like water or some kind of floor tractor beam or something, I don't know. But we'll have to be careful with those. They might try to push us into pits later on or anything like that. Yes, made it right into the ring. Aha, so I'm guessing I have to defeat these machines to move on. Let's not get shot by those lasers. Let's just... Yes, we can just one-shot them with Omega. Oh, got him. And that'll build some platforms. Let's go back to speed. Yes. That's kind of cool. I like that. So it looks like we have a few force combat segments. I'm totally okay with that. Or maybe we have a, a switch to pull. So we have a, a little tutorial here. How do I grab this? Just B? Oh, it's a push. Okay, I thought I was had to pull it. Is that going to do it? Is there, oh, what's over here? Oh, crud. Darn it, game. They trolled me. Hold on, get off the wall. Get off the wall. Thank you. Okay, go to go to Omega. There, now we can actually kill him. And I think that'll lower the gate. Yes, it will. All right. Let's grab this checkpoint. I'm going to grab it with Omega because he's the only one who hasn't got a level yet. Got it. Good stuff. People were saying that Grand Metropolis had some really good music, and I have to agree. This place is awesome. The graphics are pretty nice as well. I like the level design a lot in Sonic games. I mean, well, in some cases they are. I was going to say they're not really technically that impressive, but in some cases Sonic games really do look great. Unless it's like Sonic 06, but Sonic Colors, for example, and Sonic Generations both look fantastic. And I died apparently. I'll meet you guys right back there. I think this is where I was. Let's go. I lost all of my levels, but I regained one with Omega from that red bubble at the start. Let's hit this switch. Hit it. Uh, I don't know what that does, but we got to level up for, for Shadow. And let's just boost. I could be speed form right now, but looks like there's enough combat to justify going Omega, so that's perfectly fine. Let's just go right through here. Nice. Look at this. Oh, dude, this is going to be so fast. Let's go speed for this one. I can light that. Okay, don't light that here. That actually sucks. loop de loop If there's any physicists out there, do you guys want to fill me in on the physics of Sonic and how he actually manages to run? Or in this case, Shadow. How they manage to run up these loop de loops is it, is it fantasy, or could that actually happen in real life? If you were going fast enough, and you are getting pushed forward by the water, could you, hypothetically, could you actually make a round of loop-de-loop like that? See, the thing, here's the thing. I've seen people do it on, like, bikes and motorcycles and things. That's different. In the case of running, every time you take a step, you're manually pushing off with your foot. So I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, you would actually push off and you would not be able to stick to the top. But... I, again, I'm no physicist, so I wouldn't really know. I keep thinking this floor is lava, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, crud. Let me light dash here. Come on. Ooh, got it. All right. There's a one up in here. Not going to worry too much about that. I've got plenty of lives. Let me get this balloon. I, what I am trying to get is any kind of key to get a bonus stage. I haven't seen any keys yet. Oh, we got a superpower. Oh, we're super shadow right now. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell off. We're good. Just hit the switch. Get some nice music here. Two switches. All right, hold. Shadow, please. Get the switch. Thank you. Push it in. No, stop doing that, crud. You keep freaking me out. I keep thinking I'm going to fall off the side. All right. Keep my eyes peeled. Hopefully... No! I was saying hopefully I'll try to... Uh, hopefully I'll see some keys, but I just don't see any. Carol. Let's see what this tutorial says. Attack enemies on the ground with Black Tornado by pressing the B button during a jump while in speed formation. I kind of learned about that on the first stage on the Sonic level. There we go. Ow! Doing that got me hurt, though. That sucks balls. Why would I even do that technique? It doesn't even one-shot them. It just does one damage. That's kind of pointless. I'd rather just use Omega. He's way better for combat. I can do this crud. Ooh, look at that. That's why you got to use Omega. Okay, let's fly up. Hit the ring. Got it. Back to speed. I'm getting the hang of this, guys. I'm really getting the hang of all this, crud. Fire. Get these guys. Come on. Got him. And we get another level up for Rouge. I think she... Oh, no. She's only two. I thought she was going to max out there. Let's grab this little checkpoint. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. So what I think I'm probably going to do, guys, is I will try to get the keys as I go. But if I just happen to miss any, I'll go back and get them with Team Rose. And I heard that a lot of the... The bonus games are hard with Team Sonic or Team Shadow regardless, so a lot of the times I might have to use... What? Let me try that one again. Okay, don't fall this time. Just go down. Thank you. Good job. 
as I was saying, I'm probably going to end up having to get a lot of the Chaos Emeralds as Team Rose. And a lot of you seem to like the highlights I did last time, so I'll probably do that in the future as well if I, d if I end up having to do anything. And I'll try to do highlights as well for Team Chaotix if there's anything interesting. I can use the pull to go up. But how? How? What the crud? Dude, I've been here for like 10 minutes. That's the answer? I don't even know what just happened, dude. That was so weird. I was legit running into that pole, jumping, pressing A, pressing B, everything for like 10 minutes, and it was doing nothing. And then I just hit B, and suddenly I tornadoes around it and works. I don't even have any idea what was up with that. So there you go. Oh, no! Okay, I think you have to use Omega for this. I have to land first. There we go. I love how I homing attack a million times, land, hit him with Omega once, and it works. Okay, so I think you just get next to it and press B. No? What if I get some speed going into it? Camera? No. Jumping in doesn't work. Uh, B. There, okay, you, no. You have to tornado at it. That's what, you have to tornado. Okay, jump in B. There you go, guys. That is how you use the pull. We figured this out together. Of course, you guys are probably sitting there yelling at me, telling me how to do it, but unfortunately, YouTube is not live. Oh, we can accelerate on the grind? Okay, let's do it. Three. That's not accelerating, that's just shifting. You lied to me. Oh, that does accelerate, actually. Never mind. Hooray! Dude, we're on some kind of blimp right now. Check that out. Wait. Oh, I thought that was something I could hit. Let me just kill these enemies. And gotcha. Hit the switch. Okay, so I think I just tornado. Yep, okay. So that works out great. We got it. They should have told us that. They should have been like, yo, dog, use the tornado. Wait, did, did Omega just do a homing attack? That was weird. I didn't know he could do that. Omega is a multi-talented robot. Where am I? Ah, hello. Do I want to go that way? Probably not. Oh, the bridge is going to fall down. Cool. Let me just boost across here. Or, never mind, I can't. I'll just kill things. I'm pretty good at the, the combat segments, the platforming. Gotta get some used to it. I'm more used to the Mario and Donkey Kong style of platforming. Not so much the super fast Sanic type, so it'll take a little bit of practice. But I think with time, I got this. I got this crud. The loop de loops again. That was more like a corkscrew. Into the rainbow. Got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got it. Okay, cool. Let me get that balloon. I've got a feeling this is just going to be rings, but I still want it. Oh, a shield. Okay. So that'll allow us to take an extra hit in combat without actually losing our rings. And I think that if you have the key, uh, it, normally if you have a key, if you get hit, you will lose it. But I think with the shield, you can get hit and it's fine. You'll just lose the shield. You won't lose the key. I'm not sure if you lose the key when you lose your rings. I'm guessing you do. There's a, there's a key there. What? How do I get that one? No, my balls! My balls! No! Oh, no! No! Oh, we're fine. Well, guys, I can't go back, so I have no idea how you're meant to get that. Maybe if you time going through the rings properly, you could. But as far as I know, the only one that can break the boxes is Omega, and... I don't know, maybe he could do that. But it said to fly, so I did. Oh, well. So I'm missing the key. I probably won't get a bonus stage for this one, but thankfully this one's not too important. I think you just get one-ups for the bonus stage here. It's not actually a Chaos Emerald or anything like that. I'll take it from here. Let me go speed! Oh, let's go fly, actually. Why are they hiding the TV behind the cage? Back to speed. Oh, yeah! And there's some rings here. And that's going to be the goal! All right, we did it! Good job, team! That is an interesting win pose. Score! Wow, Rouge got a terrible score, but the other two got decent because I've been using them a lot. Although my score overall won't be very good because I died so many times. Yeah, E-Rank. I died like two or three times, so oh well. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you next time. Take care.